Hi, welcome to Makeup Mug Whoop. My name is Leanne. Today I'm joined by a special guest. This is my sister, Ruth. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Okay, so we're going to do a Get Ready With Me. She's staying with me for the weekend and for the first time in like months and months and months and months, months. months, and, months and months and months. So we decided to do a video getting ready before she leaves. So we are going to get ready with some of our favorite stuff. We'll tell you what we're using. We have very different, very <laughs> makeup aesthetics. So I have uh, probably a lot going on she's gonna do probably more neutral the most the most neutral the most neutral <laughs> makeup look uh, she enjoys the the taupe the the <gasps> linen taupe gray that I light tan <laughs> enjoy the neon drag queen the whole thing so you'll get uh, two sides of the makeup coin today and we'll get started okay so I've already done my skincare and put on my SPF same all right so let's Prime and do our thing. So we'll tell you what we're using as we go. We'll probably take vastly different times to do this because I probably take longer, but that's okay. She can hang out. Okay, here we go. All right. So I don't prime. That's. I've never in my life primed. <sighs> I know. I know. I'm... I do. Ooh, I do want to. I, I want to try that peach. That peach spray stuff. Peach spray. Stuff. That stuff. The yeah. The Morphe peachy. This sweet, stuff. is that what it's called? Sweet, sweet Peach. S-A-W-E-E-T, Sweet Peach. Gotcha. Uh, and that's there for you. So I'm starting with the next lip oil, as I always do. And I'm going to prime every pore on this face because I prime all the things all the time. So. so I obviously don't prime. And I'm doing something, basically my summer kind of makeup stuff. Um, and that involves Bare Minerals uh, powder stuff. So I'm actually going to go straight into... Um, color correcting, concealing, and then and then we'll actually get into the actual like face face coverage. Um, so I'm using the um, the Pixi Correction um, Concentrate Brightening Peach um, because I do deal with a little bit of darkness uh, on my on my under eyes, and I'm I'm very fair skinned like <laughs> like my sister. So um, any any veining. Um, like I actually have a vein that runs under my eye that you can see. Oh, that's freaky. Yeah. I don't got that. And, um, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty gnarly. So I try, I've, I've been, um, kind of trying out some color correctors and I like the, I like the pixie one. Um, it is, it is peachy and it's almost a little darker than my skin tone, but it's okay because it's going to get covered up by, uh, concealer. Okay. Like, I just kind of use it as a base to start the concealing process. I started with priming my eyes with Amuse Cosmetics eyeshadow primer in Clean Slate from Shop Miss A. It's a dollar. I'm going to use my e.l.f. under eye blurring primer. I prime all the things. Yeah, you do. Three three primers? Sometimes four, depending on if I want, like, pore filling. I'm not, <laughs> even, I'm not even kidding. Like, that... I mean, I could say high maintenance, but I'm not gonna. Well, you can, because I'm sitting in a room full of makeup. Because I love you. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I... There are times when I want to go, like, full-on, all-out glam with, like, you know, all the coverage and yeah, all the eyeliner and all that fun stuff. But usually, day-to-day, -day, I am just... I'm kind of, again, I'm the natural, the natural one. That uh, I just kind of do a quick, a quick thing. Now, are you like, do you like any kind of full coverage? Do you want to just like completely blank out your face ever? Or are you, no. you're okay? Because you have freckles and stuff yeah. like I do. And but a lot of times I just want to completely blank it out and then put the color where I want it. But you're, you, you're okay with like what, like medium Light. Yeah, medium medium is about as as full as I'll go, oh like my. on the full coverage spectrum thing. Um because to me I would rather it's it's one of those things where I like my I like my freckles. I have sunspots, I have all the discoloration, but usually a a light to medium coverage um foundation or um a powder, whatever it is that I decide to use, is enough to even me out, and that's kind of all I want huh. on a day to day. Now, if I'm going to like an event, like where I'm like, which that happens like literally once a year, 
office Christmas party kind of deal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe then, but um, that's definitely not an everyday for me. I like medium. I will do a light coverage of, you know, like if there's something that does a really good job of like blurring. I like that, but um, I like medium for day to day, but on the higher end of medium. <laughs> Uh, I do, I mean, I, I, I've got plenty of full coverage foundations that I like. The trick for me is making sure they stay non-cakey, which is probably why I prime using all of the function functional primers that I have, is to help it not look so crazy. Today I'm using a, a favorite, it's a Pure Lease BB Cream. Uh, it's the Perfect Glow one. It's Ooh. not like the Super Radiant one, that one. That one is not, it's way radiant. This is a little bit less, but it still has some glow to it. I don't mind glow. I will prime with glowy primers to make matte foundations look less yeah. matte and such. I will use my primers to either Control mattify that. or yeah. dewy eyes, which is now over. And we'll, uh, dewy eyes. I'll use that for affecting the finish of the foundation. I do that a lot. Um, I primed, by the way, with that Dior Dream Skin that I tried in my sample, my Full Face of Sample video, because I like it, and I'm going to use it up. So, I just went in with the uh, Maybelline Age Rewind, the brightener um, color underneath my eyes, and a little bit on my lids, because, again, all the veins. All the, all the veins. veins. I swear, I, I think I look like I'm wearing, like, pink eyeshadow in my crease at all times, just naturally. I'm oh. Like, so I have to, if if I don't want <laughs> a pink crease, like basically I have to do something there. So I usually, um, I don't also don't use eye primer very often. Um, I know. Okay, I know. you're fine. It's Weird. fine. It's just, <laughs> we're very different. We're very different. Two different ends of the spectrum here. So for my, um, in the summer, I like to combine two things. One is, it's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. It's this guy. I don't know if you're going to be able to see Back that. it up. Back it up. A lot of light. A lot of light. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but basically, it has hyaluronic acid. It is a very sheer coverage. It does even out a little bit. But I do it um, as a little bit more moisture before I go in with some bare minerals to, like, kind of finish out the the coverage department. Ooh. What you doing? So this is that RMS Uncover Up Foundation sample that I had, mm -hmm. and uh, it's still open and it's still creamy. So I'm going to use it to uh, cream bronze, if you will. Nice. It looks crazy. It's a bit of an odd undertone for what I would typically use for cream bronzer. I usually like a cooler tone. I've got a couple of cream bronzers. The one that I, I'm trying to use up is the AOA Studio. I'm sorry, AOA Studio Sculpt Fix little, it's a really cool tone little one of those. Mm. Um, and I'm trying to use that up, but this is a little bit warmer than what I, a little bit, a little bit warmer. It's not like super orange, but it's a little bit, but so it looks okay once I shear it out. But it's, it just blends beautifully and I'm going to use a sample up because I have it. I will never buy the whatever $70 pot of it uh, to use it for this. It's the same reason why I don't think I'll ever buy that Soleil de Chanel no, tan. tan. Yeah, yeah, never. I, I can't, I can't, uh, I won't be able to stomach myself. Now, if you would, uh, you know, win the lottery and give me my cut just for being your sister, I might, I, I might do it. Maybe. You know, for the enjoyment of it all. But I, I don't, I don't think there's much need when there are drugstore items that will do just as well and especially with the amount of product that I use is so little because I'm so fair I don't need a lot and so something will last me forever and if it is a cream or emollient product I don't want it to go bad I don't want it to yeah have to be thrown away so powder bronzers yes I'll buy high-end for and I'll, you know I'll do that all day long because I will use a powder product forever because um, it won't turn on me and that's okay but if I am Talking about cream product, I have to be a little bit more careful with what it is that I want to spend my money on if it's high end. So I use my fingers with this because it is so very, I mean, it's it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer kind of deal. Um, 
and quite honestly if I used a sponge there would I mean the little coverage that there <laughs> that there is would be gone um I I do I will use a brush with some foundations but for the most part again day to day I'm kind of like just get it done and so I use my use my paws I'm using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Hydrating. Hi, 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 I've got that one, but not that one. This is a regular Conceal and Define in C3. I did that thing where I bought the lightest shade, and it did not work. And I was like, this is a terrible concealer. <laughs> and then I saw Emily Noel, formerly known as Emily Noel 83, who mm -hmm. uh, she had the same issue. And I'm not sure if it was this concealer or another one. And she said, then I went back and bought a darker color. So then I bought C3 instead of like C0 or C1, and it does work better. And so it, it's counterintuitive mm -hmm. to buy a lighter, to buy a darker shade of, of concealer for more coverage, but you have to get the right, the right tone, the right undertone to cover those delightfully genetic dark circles that happen. Because I only slept 15 hours last night, so I know it's not mm -hmm. that. Um, and But it's just a constant... All right, I have creamed everything. Oh, there's one more thing. This is a gift from my sister from a while ago. The cokey. Do you remember? I did. I was living in Missouri, and we don't have coke. We didn't have cokey in, in Missouri at all. So she bought me. I don't know if it was Christmas or birthday, but she sent me some stuff that I couldn't get. Happy birthday. Okay, this is the cokey strobe lights face highlighter. I don't know if it's a shade. It's the pinky one, and it's mm. it's delightful and. I just take it off of the stick onto my ring finger and tap that in. It's not the only highlighter that I use because I am high maintenance, but it is, I, see? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. it's really, really pretty. So I use it as a base highlighter. I don't have a lot of liquid or I definitely don't have liquid, but yeah. some cream highlighters um, because I always forget to use cream things. So I have to make it a point to be like, set it on my vanity so that I remember to use it put it in front of me because I will powder so fast that you can't and there's no going back from that. Powder. Yeah. I will. I will powder like so fast. So speaking of powder, I uh, so I'm going in with this is like the OG bare minerals uh in fair because it's your girl's fair. And um I I have um the seamless buffing. It's like this short little stubby thing. It's um it really soft and I really like um and it's from Beer Minerals. Oh, like it was in the little section in Ulta. Oh. And I was like, huh, let me buy a new buffing brush. Um, because I think the original buffing brush I have from when mom got us in the, like, what, late 1990s slash early 2000s, our first uh, <laughs> thing of, of Bare Minerals. Do you remember that? Uh, I still have those brushes. And you're actually, disgusting. two of these are actually those brushes. <laughs> I come by it honestly, folks. I don't. <laughs> I don't know how to how to tell you throwing things away. It's hard to do. It's hard to do, especially if they're still functioning. So I'm gonna use my Bye Bye Pores Pressed Translucent from It Cosmetics. Is this a sample? Look, I've hit pan. Oh. It's not impressive. It's a sample. You better than I am, girl. I'm gonna set my under eye and my eyelid with that. Okay, I'm actually gonna do half my face that you can see, so maybe that you can see the difference between the pre bare minerals and the post bare minerals. I don't know. I have bare minerals, but I don't. I mean, I haven't used it in so long. We um, I like, I do this every like every time I do my makeup. If if it's something like this, I'll do half my face, and just enjoy the difference. <laughs> <laughs> you are weird. I know. But it's nice. It's very it's very gratifying to be like, hey, I made like you know. This, this half looks like. Well, I guess I do that with a new foundation, like or a concealer. Like I will, I will use it and ch just to check myself to see whether or not it's doing something or what it's doing. I, I guess I do that, but I don't like just do it every day. I do well, not okay. every day. Oh, okay, but okay, occasionally, occasionally. All right, I'm gonna use my Wet and Wild Photo Focus Press Powder in Warm Light. We're, we're, look how much pan. Mm. Look at it. Get after it. Sorry for reaching all over because. So like, there, again, oh, way, sure. way light. I don't know if you can even tell. Uh, no, I can because this, let me poke her in the face with some powder. In this region. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does. It, like, especially on, on your cheek, I can tell. Yeah. Um, and 
Yeah, I can tell. No, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. Yes. Y'all, the pineapple is struggling today. Oh. She calls the bun on top of her head a pineapple. I don't know anyone else in the world that does oh, it. That's it her is. pineapple. It is. Mm. <laughs> it's the day of rest, and my pineapple is trying, trying its best. Pineapple's too. taking the Sabbath off. It is. It is. So I, wanna, I don't want to stay up. All right, so that's my base done. Well, the base base. The base base? If, if you repeat the word twice somehow, it makes it more emphatic. I don't know. Anyways. I've still got, you know, freckles. It's not full coverage, the BB cream. But I wasn't looking for that today. Because I don't need to be full coverage today. <sighs> I'm just here at the house hanging out. All right. Let's do bronzer and all that jazz. So I've got a couple things that I pulled out from my stash. So I've got a lot of makeup, like a la la la, like a la la la. Understatement of the year. Yeah, I know, but still. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so about once every two weeks, I go through and pull a lot of color products off of my vanity and replace them with things that I haven't used in a while. If I've bought new, then I want to use the new, but if I haven't bought new in a while, then I'll go pull from ye old. And I pulled a couple. I haven't bought any new bronzers like in the last four days. So I um, I bought I brought out a couple of oldie but goodies. So this I believe is IBY Beauty. I believe I got it either in a boxy charm or an Ipsy or something. It's their highlight and contour palette. And I think in this bottom right shade here, the contour one. I think I can actually use it up soon. So I'm gonna try. It's, there's a there's a, there's a there's super like look how much pan deal. like so much pan. Um, these are all matte. Like, it's, it's all a matte little thing. And I don't know who this brand is, but it's very, very good. They're very good powders. And so I've used Contour 2 and occasionally Contour 3. I do not contour this chub face. But I do use uh, Cool Tone contours as a bronzer because I do like to have some depth specifically to my hairline and the perimeter of my face. Occasionally my, my chin that I will... I will put some darkness on just to recede it a little bit. So, uh, talk about old school. <gasps> Is this the thing? This is the thing. Oh my gosh. So, um, I have an Avon. It's actually a blush. Um, but I use it as bronzer. It's called Earthen Rose. And it is, like... Where did you get this? I was watching, I want to say, A Model Recommends. Oh, I love her. Um, her name is Ruth also. And she's I, I love her. She's gorgeous and British and lovely. She had her baby and all that. Oh, like yeah. I, yeah. She had a second baby. Two I babies? Think. I haven't she caught two up. Babies? Anyway. She's um, but back in the day, like 2011, 2012, somewhere around in there, like when I first started, that was kind of when I first started watching YouTube videos because you got me onto Graveyard Girl. And then I started branching out and finding other things. Um, and But she, like she used this all the time. And I was like, that's beautiful. Um... And it's kind of a ready-toned uh -huh. bronzer, and that looks more natural on me because when I tan, I don't go golden. <laughs> I just go more pink uh. um, and more red. Like, that's that's just kind of how I look. Like, if my arms are slightly tan, like, you know, during the summer, just being outside a little bit more more often, it's, it is a, it's red. Mm -hmm. It's a red-brown. So I feel like this looks the best on me. So I'm using a gift from my husband for a while ago. It's It was, they were these ombre kind of bronzer blush highlight things. There was a pinky one and a peachy one. He gave me both. This is the pink champagne glow from Ooh. Pixie from Target. And uh, this is one of those things that I pulled because I've had it for a long time. I wanted to use it. It's super glowy. Everything, all, all of the components are glowy. I'm just focusing my brush into the pink part for a blush. I can use this for all three um, pieces of my color products for my face if I want to. But uh, it is really pretty. Okay, do you like blush or bronze your nose? Are you one of those people like that? No, but no. Uh, I'll do it. There you go. <laughs> I do it either with bronzer or with blush, mostly with blush. I don't know why. Uh, I love how it looks. I'm a weirdie. Let's see. Do but I, I do, like, so if, um, 
I will, even if I don't use bronzer, I will go up and when I do or when I don't, either way, with my blush, I'll go just sweepity swipe across my forehead mm -hmm. um, to make it a little bit, little bit more natural or I don't know. I feel like that makes, whoops, that makes things look better. I don't know. How Do you put it. highlighter on the end of your nose like a cartoon character? Occasionally, yes. Okay. Um. Because I might do that every single time. What color do I want to use? Do you use a finishing powder? Um, I brought my Mineral Veil Hydrating, and I oh. will occasionally I will occasionally use that. So, um, I brought it, so I'll use it. Okay, I'm using the Laura Geller Ooh. Universal. It's like all the little cool tone, not so little pretty. pastel tones. It's like a mosaic, but it, there is a sheen to it. And this is one of this is my neutral finishing powder. I have I have a neutral. I have a gold, like a a more warm tone, which is the Revolution Pro Opalescent Skin Finish. Ooh. That is from Makeup Missa. She's the Scottish queen of color, beautiful. And then I'm currently panning, not panning, but trying to use my Trolls Beauty Powder and play it proper. It's uh, it's got a troll in it. Look. It does. It's got a little trolling butt. You oh. can't hardly tell because I've used a lot of it. Butt on it. Oh, no, it was the front of, of it. Yeah, you're right. Never mind. Yeah, sorry. Remember the troll butts though? They were like. Uh, anyway, there talking about go. troll butts. There you go. Um, okay, for blush, I brought a Lorac. Mm -hmm. Did a you? What? <laughs> a Lorac. A Lorac. A Lorac. Um, a little palette that actually I think you gave me, and it's got four tones of blush and then a highlighter. Why did I get that? I want that. Okay, why did you? Why did I give that to you? Because you love. It. Okay, you can have it. What color do you think? I'm thinking either. What are you doing for eyeshadow? I have no idea. See, that's why I don't. I have See, to I know. I'm like, just give me some pink on my cheeks. Well, then get your pink on your cheeks then. I'm, okay, we're gonna go neutral. We're gonna go with with tinge. That's not a blush, is it? Yeah, it is. Watch. Oh my gosh, that's Watch. hardly nothing. It looks yeah, it looks like nothing, but it actually does stuff. And I'm one of those people. I don't bring it back. I bring. I'm. I put it on my cheek. On just on. You my don't cheek. bring it all the way up here. No. Like here. No. Like where it is on my face? No. <laughs> okay. Because, and it's what? one of those personal preference things. It is. I like, totally is. Like, no, I mean, I blush like this. I blush an index card area <laughs> of each. <laughs> like, I like a lot of blush. I'll run it on my hair. No, I'll, see? See? Mm, it's beauty. It's beauty. And it's very, like, it's very neutral. And I, again, if you can't tell, I like neutral stuff. She's a very neutral person. I'm going to go ahead and use my setting mist. Get oh. ready to. I'm oh. not gonna spray you. I'm <laughs> calm down, Effer. She's like, oh. I know you. I got, you get this, I got it stuff. pointed to my face. Oh, 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 right. Oh, that is amazing, right? Uh, it's so again, like, kind of with whatever's left on my brush, I'll kind of go up here just to just to liven things up up top, you know, as you do, as you do, okay. I brought a highlighter and I'm going to um I'm gonna say something that is shocking. Okay. Um I very rarely use highlighter. <laughs> Who are you? I know. When I do, it's the most subtle of highlighters. She was swapped at birth with someone else. <laughs> it was she's not my sister. Um I love the Essence Pure Nude. Like it's Ooh, the I got the new one. You do Ooh. Well, I got a new one. Oh it's this excuse me while I clutch my fan. This is the space lighter one that's like opal pinky. Oh, oh. And look this at that. Was, oh. Yeah, Ooh, I mean, I have that one too that. somewhere. Can Here I you touch go. It? Yeah, yeah, you can touch it. Can I touch it? Yeah. It's like it's a white base with a pinky shift. Woo! You want to try it? No. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's way too dramatic for me. Oh, that is, it's beautiful though. I know. That's so, so why I got it. <laughs> that's lovely. That is lovely. I'm going to stick to my boring. Of course you are. Beigey. That's okay. Lovely. That's okay. Gorgeous. You enjoy that. I will. Um, I use... I used the br the blush brush that came with the with the uh, Lorac uh, <laughs> palette. I used this for highlight because you know, uh, do you, honey? My contact is giving me fits, but that's fits. okay. Not fits. Not fits. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna brow. Do you do your brows? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. I do. Like that is that is kind of the one thing. Even if I'm like barely doing anything else. Yeah. I usually try to at least do my brows and maybe throw on a little blush. Like, just to have some kind of color e-definition on my face. Like, okay, so are you one of those people that you can leave the house without out, out, anything on your face at all? 
Yeah. Okay, me too. And, I mean, I, I like, I have no problem looking like an ogre at all. Like, I'm okay. But I, if I'm going to do makeup... You're doing the whole... I'm doing the, the whole yeah. thing. Like, I can't... It's really... It's like, I need two hours to know before we leave if I'm going to do makeup. <laughs> Boy, howdy, I'm doing makeup. Um, it's really hard for me to do fast makeup. Like, if I was one of those... People, it has to do like, yeah. you know, makeup in 10 minutes. Forget it. Like, I'm just not going to do I'm going to put sunscreen on and leave. You're not going to do the 10 minute challenge? No, I, I, God, can you imagine if I, I don't even know. I'd get one brow and a, like, oh, I, I just one, one eyelash. One eyelash on. With mascara. Like, I just, you know. I mean, I do, if I'm running out of time, I'm like, oh, no falsies today. Like, that's just, that's it. That's the, that's the thing. But, you know, I, I will, I will skip a whole bunch of stuff in a heartbeat. No, no, no. Um, I, but I am like you. Like, I know, um. So this is kind of not blended out, really. Like color is on my face, but in the place that I want it, but it's not fully blended out. So either I will take a bear brush, okay. like a big like powder brush. Oh, you or... don't mean like it's made out of bear hair? I mean, <laughs> what, I'm I mean, just checking. Okay, so you know, it's a, a panda brush. No, B A R E <laughs> brush. A bear. Okay, without product. Thank you. Um, I will take that and do what I'm about to do, or. Um, I recently, I think Emily Noel was talking about, we, apparently. This girl, yeah. she's killing us, man. She's killing us. Um, she was talking about the hydrating mineral veil from Bare Minerals, and I had it. And I just, it was kind of tucked back in the drawer. And I pulled it back out and started using that to buff. Yeah. And, um, I, I like, I like it. Is I that like that? It. Yeah. It's got color to it. Yeah. It's, it's got, and actually, if you look close, there is shimmer. But you cannot see it on your face, because I'm not a glitter person. I don't, I don't use glitter for anything. Like, can I touch it? As yeah, I touch it. As you touch it. Ruth, look at the shimmer on that. It's like a pink shimmer. You can't tell. It's super fine though. Wow. It's, it's the finest powder I've ever seen. Like it, you have to be super careful. For it not to. So like, if I stuck my brush in there, oh, yeah, okay, no. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. This is. This is <laughs> it's like it pours. It pours like water. Let me look. Like it's. Like and it's up. Like that's. That's enough. That's enough. For um. But you, you want some? No bit. Once you're done, I don't need it because I have four layers of powder on my face. Okay. Okay. My dogs have long hair. Yeah, my and dogs have no hair. I mean, they have hair. And apparently. But they don't shit. All. I brought some of that with me. <laughs> oh, oh, it's on my brush. That's oh. like the worst feeling. But, so it just helps to get everything all smoothed out, blended. Looking That's very right. nice. And then, again, the, tini the tiniest of, please don't. I just didn't know it would be that color. I thought it would be like a translucent or a white yeah, or something. Same. I like when I bought it, I remember being like, uh, that's kinda golden. It's or very something. golden. And it's got it's got like a red or a pink reflect to it. It's but I guess if that's I mean if it's if you like it. But again, like it's not like can you see that on my actual face? No. No. Mm -mm. So I think it's just like or maybe if it is, it's so subtle that it yeah. that when it shears out on your face that you can't really tell. Cool. Um so yeah. Let me have a little bit. Have that. I do this. All right. I don't need. I don't need it at all because I've. It's very strange. Okay, guys. I'm not digging in my nose. I'm just saying. <laughs> but there is there is dog hair on my face. I can't stand when there's a hair uh, or a brush bristle or an eyelash uh, or anything. Okay. Uh, uh. All right. This is gonna clash with the 14 other things that are put on. Oh, it's all right. So I had that Becca cooling powder, you know, that it felt like it was water going in your face, and I've already used it up. <laughs> because I was, like, obsessed with the sensation. All right. Are you doing it? I never use that setting spray. Jeez. Give it. That whole, that whole shelf behind her is nothing but setting spray right there. I can't. I can't. I love it. You don't shake. I know. It's trippy. <laughs> you don't shake it. All right. It's back here and, it's like, you just spray your face. It's not... A complex thing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick the dog hair to my face. Okay. Yeah, permanently. Ooh. Ooh. Would you like a fan? Ooh. Yes. <laughs> it's my kimchi fan. I feel like I didn't get this side. Plus, I want to smell it again. Oh, it is. Oh. I'm glad I got backups. Oh. Isn't I'm it so, great? A, can I bathe in that? I know. I told you. It's amazing. I'm not... I'm a connoisseur of these things. 
the whole more. shelf. And I, that see, there's two more back there because. Oh, that's pretty. Right. Okay. okay. All right. She okay. knows what she's talking about. She do. She, she do. do. All right. Eyeshadow. I, 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 I do eyebrows first. I've already done mine. Yeah. I can't believe I'm beating her. This is amazing. It's because I'm talking. I'm gonna use a new palette to me, a co the ColourPop Wild Nothing palette, which I know that you've seen all over the tube. It's but I got, beautiful. I got mine. I know it's gorgeous, and I don't think I got a little peachy today. I also got two more in the mail since the last time we spoke. Uh, the Pat McGrath little Eye Ecstasy Sublime. They, they're like plasticky. They're not in her normal amazing packaging. But there's a more neutral one, and then there's a a colorful Woo! one. Yeah, like they're gorgeous. That I mean, is very pretty. Yeah, I mean they're they're really really pretty. So I don't know if I'll use any of that today, but I am I'm gonna go for the color pop for sure because I haven't tried it yet. So I want to try it for sure. Oh no, we'll do a peachy look maybe. I'm using the never ending brow pencil. This is the It Cosmetics uh, brow power. Like it's like the one that has it's just universal taupe. This is the. This I've is, had this for two years. Yeah, this one's years. Actually, two and a half years. It's like almost Crazy. gone. I cannot. I will do a dance naked in the moonlight when the not really neighbors. I'm sorry, but I, <laughs> I will. It's it has been. I rubbed everything off of it. It's so. I just want it done, but it doesn't take much. And so here I am. I don't even think this is a full size. I think this is like a sample or a. Oh, or it's a not. I've had the full size of that size. one. Travel yeah. size. Yeah. And I'm still. It's still going. It's still going. I'll start with a really light peachy. Upper transition. I'm wearing peach in my tie dye today, courtesy of 80% Walrus. 80% Walrus. Look them up on Facebook. She's awesome. Get your tie dye on. I slept on tie dye sheets, y'all. Yes, they're amazing. They are awesome. They look like geodes. Like she, the. That's the only way I can describe no, it. No, that's it. That's so like it's like a geode pattern that she tie dyes. 80% Walrus. Go look it up. She's on Instagram too, but Facebook is where she usually lives that you can't even tell it's a color but it's okay we're gonna go darker you can't it, mm. it's a little bit <laughs> a little bit of a darker peach and we'll go oh look we'll see that that's some color yo mm -hmm. color pop get color. after it <laughs> pitter patter I, i'm sorry <laughs> do you <laughs> have you ever seen letter kenny at your house oh that's right and y'all were laughing so hard and i'm like <laughs> so funny <laughs> It is a Canadian show. I think it's on Hulu. Y'all, if you haven't watched it, <laughs> please go watch it. I will say it takes some getting used to. Um, so we live in the South and we talk pretty slow. If you can tell. Um, but it's, it's Canadian and they're talking super fast. And But once you finally like kind of get the rhythm of it, oh, oh bless. It is, it is amazing and hilarious. And there are very there are a lot of quotable things. <laughs> so me and my husband quote letter Kenny to each other um, on the regular. Pitter patter is one of them, uh, meaning get to getting, get to getting, get to getting. I'm gonna do an un I'm gonna do a lower lash line today. <gasps> I don't think Gasp! I, I know who who am I? I don't even know. I don't know. There's my eyebrows. Look, they're eyebrows. <laughs> Do you like doing that? I didn't even watch you. Do you do like a tech? Like you have like one of those little sculpty. You have a cute brow. I have like a. I basically just fill them in. Okay. I just like I don't I don't do anything. Um, I feel like I could probably go in a little bit more towards my nose. Oh, like if you do that thing where you draw. Look how much space I yeah, have. Yeah, I know. I'm the same way. Like, like, but if you, if I did that, holy God above. I don't think I would be I like. Look who is this ridiculous. person? Ridiculous! I look yeah. so crazy. Like I can't. I can't. When they do it, when you go to like the benefit brow bar at Ulta, and you get yeah. them, and then they they have to. They like draw the line, a little snap chop line or whatever. They don't really, but you know what I'm talking about. And they draw a line. And they're like, you should fill in to like here. And I'm like, I I look like a Neanderthal. I cannot. I am cro magnon. I can't actually <laughs> go in that far. What's funny is that when I was like teenager and early twenties, like I had I had a unibrow, like it was and but then like that was like late nineties, early early two thousands. Yeah. And so I had them plucked to within an inch of their life, um, and and eventually it just never. <laughs> 
never grew back. I wish there was like a warning, like you know, when you when you're you're <laughs> going you're going in to do something in in, a, in like an Excel document or something, and like yo yo yo, if you merge these things, you're gonna lose all your data. You sure boo? Like I wish there was something like that in <laughs> life that was sure like yo yo yo, you're about to hit enter the threshold of plucking that you will never recover from for the rest of your life, no matter how trendy bushy eyebrows become. Are you sure boo? And then you could be like, you know, maybe not. Of course, I probably would be like, yes, I want to be adorable right now. Forget the future. I'm so excited. Okay, let me tell you why I'm so excited. <laughs> Please do. So, uh, Leanne, here's the good thing about having a makeup hoarder as a sister. A hoarder is such a negative word. Well, uh, a makeup collector. Collector. Thank you. I'll take it. Um, is that sometimes you get free makeup, <laughs> and it's amazing. Um, so this is a duplicate or something. Like you yeah, like yeah, yeah. It? I bought I bought this when it came out. Uh, a long time ago, and then I got it in a boxy charm. So this is the Tardis Pro, and there's so much, so, <laughs> so much. No, that's that's not. This is not gonna <laughs> this help. Is not helping. Um, but it, so it's super. But it is uh, neutral with kind of like a. There's some berry goodness in there, some purpley goodness. Um, I love cool toned eyes. I love them. Makes me very happy. Again, taupe. It's what I love. Ooh. So it's all, um, so basically off 16 shadows are matte and four are sparkly. And that makes me happy because I also love matte shadows. <laughs> That's my Go jam. figure. Go As I pour boring. glitter all over me. The most boring. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> Camera crashed. All right, back, <laughs> back to it, kids. Anyway, I used the Super Shock Shadow uh, Spirited in my inner corner, and it's super, super, super reflective. And I'm going to do a little more lash, lower lash line work with the colors I used on my upper lash. My upper lid. My lid. My apple. <laughs> Sometimes I have a hard time, like, looking at a palette being like, okay, I mean, I know I need to start with a crease color, right? Like, right. I know that. But I'm like, but which one? <laughs> There's, like, four. And then occasionally I just sat, sit there and stare at the palette for five minutes. <laughs> Let's not do that today. All right, all right. Let's not. Okay. We're, mm, we're, we're just going to go. We're going we're gonna to go in. I'm going pinky. Shouldn't have put any concealer on because then my, my crease would all already be the you be done. color. I don't need no crease color. I got a peach haze all the way around my eye. Peach haze. Look a little sickly. That's how you know you're getting any good. <laughs> I went on like neutrally for myself today. This is not normal. I was about to say. I know it's very calm for what I would normally it do. It is. Uh... But I'll do it. If you hear grunting <laughs> guinea pig like noises, my Yorkie's down at our feet. <laughs> Her name is Ellie Mae, but she doesn't go by Ellie Mae. She doesn't. Her name is Tiny. Tiny. And she's very tiny. But her noises are not tiny. <laughs> noises are not. So Leanne has teeny tiny. Quit again. Quit again. <laughs> I was saying that Leanne has teeny tiny dogs. She has two. I have two dogs as well. They're both like 80 pounds. One's a Labradoodle and one's like a Siberian Husky slash German Shepherd slash probably a lot of other stuff. He's a he is, but we don't we don't tell him that. We don't tell him. He's adopted too. He was a Craigslist dog. We and we don't we don't say that out loud oh, in our house. <laughs> poor thing. But yeah, Cooper is uh, he's special. And so when I come here, <laughs> I'm like, it's it's crazy because they're so small, so small, and it's just weird. It's weird. Well, the little one is now like 11 pounds. She's a horker. And that's so big. She should not be that big. Oh my god. I'm a tight line and water line and the whole line. You doing all the things? I'm doing it all because I'm wearing contacts so I might as well torture myself even more. Right? So. Okay. You know what? I think I'm just going to go down. Have you still not decided? No, I started with Get that. With it. I think I'm just going to go down. I'm that's a great idea. Down. That's why they did that for people like you. Shut. I don't want to hear it. You know, Natasha Denona's palettes are... Designed to be used like in duos and quads and rows, diagonals, columns, the whole thing. And I didn't know that. So when I bought the really expensive ones, uh, they were like buy one, get one free. Like the big 28 pan, like, you know, the, the beautiful ones. 
Um, I didn't know that they were designed. So I. It's not darker than I thought it was going to be. Where? Oh. <laughs> It is to me. It is to me. It's not. Anyway, I totally um, reorganized my Natasha Denona palettes without knowing that she had, like, designed them to be that way. Oh. And now I'm like, oh, well. I mean, I could look at reference pictures online, yeah. but. Okay. All right. That ain't, well, actually, no, that's pretty. Now that it's, like, getting. So there's one eye rimmed, one eye not. I think I need some like upper lash line. Oh, we need more darkness. Okay. I might. What do you need? No. I'll go. I'll go a little bit more than what I would normally. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm gonna go up. So I, I have this one in the crease. This one darkening the crease a little bit. And what about that, like on the outer edge? I think that'll be pretty. I know. I'm, I know. It says phone storage almost full. Oh no. Oh no. Quick. Finish. There ain't no way. There is no way I'm finishing. Silence because we're hurrying. <laughs> so I'm lining tight line, waterline, and upper lash line with the Marc Jacobs highlighter in Earthquake. I think I just had this up in my face for the past. You can't see anything no, that I'm you doing. Can't, no, there you go. You're fine. <sighs> it's fine. Yeah, that helped. Your beauty. Oh, I thank you a lot of those. And you're back from that again. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're getting no, dark, girls. We're getting dark. <laughs> it's dark. Is it? Oh, it is. Remind me to do a smoke yeah the next time you're here. Oh, okay. I don't know why I closed that compact. I'm gonna definitely need it to curl my lashes. So we're gonna. We didn't heat it up because. Yeah, another did, thing I don't do. Y'all didn't. You don't curl your lashes. No. I mean, it's it's a choice. <laughs> <laughs> no, for some of us, it is not a choice. Otherwise, we look like camels, and it they are not curly at all. That's too dark. That's too dark. Sorry, I'm testing. I'm I'm seeing what um, shimmers there are. Maybe gold. I mean, I've got a variety of shimmers. If you want other colors, like it just seems. A little bit I have, weird. I have a room full of shimmers. <laughs> I mean, really. That was the wrong choice. I'm kidding. It's not. It's pretty. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's pretty. Yeah, you're terrible. I know. It's pretty, though. All right. Yeah, it's fine. That's pretty. Yeah. <sighs> this is the time when I contemplate life choices. This is the time that I remember the uh, pasta dish that you just fed me for lunch. <laughs> and I like, it's it's still in my soul. You want a nap? <laughs> I, I want it to eat more. <laughs> That's what I want. Pretty delicious. All right. How's that? I might do a little bit of lower lash line. Okay. Goodness. Okay. I think it's beautiful. It's, it? This is actually a lot darker than I would normally ever do. Really. Truly. With all my heart. Would you like to see the black gel base I start with for a smoky eye that I actually <laughs> slather across my lid? <laughs> actually, I am going to. What am I going to do? I'm going to take like this deep, deep plum and um, use like a little angled liner brush and do a little bit of a little bit of a eyeliner. I am not good at eyeliner. What what constitutes being good at it? Uh, being able to make a wing, period, 
and then that isn't like just completely <laughs> I've made rectangles on my eyes before trying to make them I'm not it's just kind of I'm not very do you practice like right before no. you wash your face do you like go in and try wings no that's how you should do it so then you don't you aren't stuck with it all day but you are you get practice I can't also speak <laughs> while I'm cleaning up mascara but you get practice where are you going with that that's how I practice or try new products that I'm not sure about. Like, I don't want to ruin my whole face if I've got to be somewhere in the next day or whatever. So I try it out right before I wash my face. Then go wash it off. Five hours <laughs> later. Also, I've grown a pineapple. Yes. Okay. So we had camera issues. And now they're solved. Thanks to Mr. Makeup Mugwomp. He is Brew with Phil here on YouTube. Check him out. He brews coffee and he'll brew beer for your viewing pleasure. And he smokes pork sticks. He does smoke pork sticks. They're delicious. Oh, I think you did a video on that. So yeah, there you go. Go check him out. Brew with Phil. Two L's on Phil. Okay. So I'm going to tell you where I am. I put on the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black. And now I'm going to put on Ye Old Tried and True Essence Lash Princess. Because she is a princess. For my second coat of mascara. I think I don't even remember at this point where I was. I had um, taken like a dark plummy color with a little angle brush and uh, did a little eyeliner action on the outer corner of my eye. I do want to smoky smoke a little tiny bit. I say I say smoke. She doesn't and, mean it. Um, in Leanne's world, that means the slightest of color on my bottom lash line. So I'm just gonna take it a little, uh, little smudgy smudgy smudge. I think I'm just going to go in that. I haven't layered these two mascaras before. And so far it's okay. Typically I wear the Lash Princess by itself because I don't need no help. Because she don't need no man. But um, I have this open from my sample video anyway. So I thought it's a good definer mascara. So we'll start that as a base coat. And then we'll pile on the Lash pr Princess. I'm not wearing falsies today. Because I can't be bothered. Just a little bit. Just a little bit underneath. Oh! Yes! You can tell it. I, you can, I can tell the difference. <laughs> you hush. I love you. I know. I love you back. I mean, that's what's fun about makeup is that you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Or whatever you think is pretty and nice. I ain't gotta worry about it. Alright. So, that's it for eyeshadow. Um, I do, uh,. The other step that I will always do is uh, my tight line. Um, you always I, do that? Always. Awesome. I if, I put on, if I put on makeup, I'm going to tight line. Wow. Um, I don't. Because I like the way that even if I don't put on mascara, it still makes my lashes look thicker. Um, I have pretty good lashes. You do. They make me sick. <sighs> but um, they are a little wild sometimes. She got the brains. She got the lashes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Talk about brains. I don't know about that. Um. Remember when I told you I would cut my eyelashes because they would hit my glasses? I'll stab you in the freaking face. <laughs> do not do that. I did when I was like. I don't want to hear it. This in is just, college and it's stuff. It's disgusting. It's what it is. It's disgusting. The good Lord gave you freaking camel lashes. You should have put in contacts and seduced the men with them. Uh -huh. Oh, sure. She does have very long lashes. I have okay length of lashes, you but do. they're not they're not like boom like hers are. So I'm not bitter. I'm just saying. And I find that for me, mascara is always optional. Like I just kind of you know if I can't be bothered, that's that's fine. I know. It's I okay. Know. It's okay. It's just everybody who can read auras is now reading the hate aura coming off of me. And it's oh. changed the color oh. from love to hate. All right. All right. I will put on mascara today, though. Thank just, you. Just for you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to lips. And I've got two new things from mm -hmm. that Wild at Heart collection. Wild thing. Nothing. Yes. Uh, from ColourPop. It's the two Lux lips, lip oils, because I don't have enough. Uh, Playa Vista and Hot Shot. They look 
virtually identical. One is I mean, come on now. The slightest bit. They're slightest virtually bit. identical. <laughs> so yeah, I fell for that one, Color Pop. Good on you. Yeah, you did. Oh, which one? It will make such a difference. On I'll do the darker one. I'm going in with uh, the Bambi Eye Mascara. Oh, I haven't tried that. Let me see the wand. It is a rubber wand. And, I don't know um, how I feel about that. It is... Can you see? Can you... have a hold yeah. up my forehead. Your five heads? So my five head. Um, oh! It's... There are varying lengths of... Well, are they? Are they varied? My eyes are just playing tricks on me. Maybe slightly. Anywho. Um... I like mascaras to completely separate each of my lashes. Okay. Um, I do not like um, clumpy, like oh. I, or maybe I don't particularly like volumizing mascaras very much because I feel like it's too much. Okay. And my and I start to look real un real unnatural. Um, and I probably also don't do. I never have done more than one coat of mascara. I just no. put on six for the people. I want the record to state I'm done before her. Look now. I'm not saying I won. I'm just saying I, there's a, <laughs> a clear winner and I am it. <sighs> clear. Clear. Clearly a winner. You, you do win today. Because you make me pasta. It's beautiful. Shall I take down my pineapple and pretend like I haven't done my hair? Sure, I'm not. Because my hair looks really crazy right now. Let's give the people what they want. Alright. So there's that. And I do, I actually do lower lashes. Pretty much, if I'm doing mascara, I'll, I do lower lashes. I'm sorry to any hairstylist that's ever worked on my hair. This is what we're dealing with now. Don't worry, but don't worry about it. Don't worry, oh don't worry about it. Oh my god. Don't worry about it. How about being a ooh, girl? Don't worry about it. Girl. Don't even. How do we feel? How do we feel about that? How do you feel about that? Yes. Yeah. No. It's just, <laughs> no. All right, I'll work on the hair while she's doing that. All right. So that's, I mean, there you go. There's lashes done. Oh, they're nice. Thanks. <laughs> they're not, no, they're nice. They're not bad. I don't know. I, I like a clumpy. I like a lot. Yeah. I like more rather than And like than I less. understand how people like the look of that. Yeah. It's just one of those things for me that I'm I'm not a fan You're of. You're not a fan. So okay, I, I, one of my favorite mascaras that is now discontinued, and I'm sure you can't find it anywhere except mm -hmm. if you get lucky, is the L'Oreal Manga. Like... Oh, the Miss Manga. Yes. And it was beautiful. And it was super clumpy. And I loved every bit of that. And I had several backups, and I have no more. No moss. No moss. Um, somebody's going to be like, you can find that easily at fill in the blank, and I won't know it. Okay, I'm gonna, we're going to so, do here. I have two choices. For what, lips? <laughs> You're going to laugh. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> okay, it's actually, it's ColourPop. Again, ColourPop. Um, I freaking love these. They're the Just a Tint, I don't know, crayon-y bits. Y yes. Um, I have a lot of colors that I barely wear because I like neutral nude lips. Um, and so usually it's between these two. Like, it, there's a slight difference. It's a difference. This is more brownie, neutral nude, like, and then this one is more pinky. What colors are yours? So, uh, give me s'more. Give me s'more. Yep. Beautiful. And then always right oh, is the more know. pinky one. Oh, okay. Which I might. Do you want to? Do you? Am I feeling? Are you? Oh. I might. I might. Do this side too. So, um, these are like, I don't know, they're perfect for me. I do not, I do not do matte lipstick. I don't do matte liquid lips. If my lips ain't comfy, there's a problem. Oh. It's a big problem. Yeah. And so, I like tinted lip balmy, um, creamy, mm -hmm. stuff like that. And this is like perfection because there's, there's color, I mean, there's color, Yeah. but it feels like a lip balm and it's lovely. Um, I will occasionally line my lips. I have to, if I want it to actually be color. I've just got that lip oil on, so there's hardly any color. Hey. 
I mean, this oh, is pretty though. Mm -hmm. This is this be the dark one, folks. <laughs> I can't, I can't talk. And I admire like the the beauty gurus who can like line line their lips while they're talking. I know, and I'm I like, mm -hmm. I would be like out here. Just yeah, yeah. Go. Same. All right. We got ready with you and with with us. Yay! This is it. Do you like it? I do. I like She's it too. Beauty. Thank you. So I really do you. like that. Um, the inner corner. Yeah, I know that that super so shock so shadow is amazing. Would you like to come up here? Please. All right. Please. One more family member into the fray. All right. This dog, y'all. It's a tiny. It's, it's a, a tiny, tiny dog. dog. All right. Thank you very much for joining us. If you liked it, give us a give us a like. Give us a thumbs up. So give us a thumbs up. Yeah. And then uh, subscribe for more makeup videos. We're gonna we're gonna keep coming back for more. <laughs> She's obsessed with Ruth. She's obsessed. She's a chocolate Yorkie. Look, her nose is chocolate. Okay, now I'm really done. Y'all have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, bye! Bye!